how to do an NCD. Okay, we did our cuff, we did our tactical field care. We had a hole in his box. We plugged the hole with an occlusive dressing. But now we suspect tension pneumothorax. What is tension pneumothorax? Pretty much is we have a hole in our chest. We disrupted the ballots inside and now the pressure is building up. The pressure that is building up, it's pushing on our all major vessels that are inside and on, on our heart. It's pressuring on our good lung and we can't breathe. What are we going to do? We're going to do a needle chest decompression. We take our 14 gauge needle, choose our site. We're going to choose the second intercostal space, mid clavicular line, lateral to the nipple line. Take our alcohol, we clean it. Take our needle and advance the catheter. We advance the catheter down to the hub, wait five to 10 seconds. In the meantime, we listen for a whoosh. Okay, hopefully we hear a whoosh. Start removing the needle. And now check if our patient is breathing better. Okay. Breathing turned a bit to normal. Nice. Okay, we did the NCD. Our patient is feeling better. This is not the final solution. Our patient needs an immediate evac because he needs another hole in his body. It's not that funny. He needs a chest tube. Sometimes multiple needle Ds are gonna be needed for our patient, maybe because of a prolonged evac time. Maybe the first one is gonna get clogged, but just get a new one and jab it right next to it. Okay, the first one is getting clogged. We just try to unclog it. We grab the NCD, we go next to it and quarter turn. So we just try to unkink it and then reassess our patient. What do we do if we plugged our hole with an occlusive dressing, but we don't have an NCD? We don't use our little trusty Swiss army knife and make a hole here to alleviate the pressure. We just grab one end of the occlusive dressing and then pull it back as needed and try to burp the wound. It's not going to do like a Homer Simpson burping sound, but you just try to alleviate the pressure. Okay, we hear something. Burp. Press it back. Reassess, no suck, no blow. And then check our patient. Did it work? Yeah, he's breathing better. With every reassessment, we go close to the NCD. Quarter turn, listen for a whoosh. And why am I doing this? This is our primary site. The secondary site is the fifth intercostular space, mid axillary line. This, it's really, really important to do a reassessment because it gets easily clogged because of the stretchers and because of the hands. And that pretty much sums up how you do an NCD.